Hello everyone, this is Wilson. Let's talk about finding the derivative of a function like this, which requires a mix of uh, quotient rule and then the chain rule and then the power rule. Those are the major rules that are involved, but there are some other uh, smaller rules that we need to use when we are differentiating this function. Okay, so let's get started on this function. So we are going to take the derivative by, um, so by starting with the quotient rule. And then we actually need to use chain rule on the way whenever it requires us to use the chain rule. Okay, so what do we do? First, we need to review the quotient rule. Okay, so the quotient rule, right? So let's review the quotient rule for now. So for the quotient rule, if you have a function over the other function, when you take the derivative, then you are going to get f prime g minus f g prime. Okay, and then all over the g square. Okay, so let's take the derivative of this function. So f prime of x is equal to, now first we are going to take the derivative of the top function, right? We're gonna take the derivative of the x, which would give us, what is that? That's just going to be, um, this going to be one, right? And then what about the bottom function, the g? We are just going to copy the g. So I'm just going to copy it right here. So one times the q root of x squared plus one, okay? And then now minus, following the formula from the quotient rule, right, minus. And then now f, which is just copying the top function, right? So don't do anything, just copy. So we are going to be getting x. And then what about the g prime? Now the g prime is the one that we need to differentiate the bottom function. Okay, so if we are rewriting the bottom function, then see what's going on here. This actually looks like x squared plus one uh, raised to the one over three power. Okay, so now we are going to use the power rule to differentiate this function, which will give us one over three. Okay, that's the general power rule. And then we are going to be getting x squared plus one Right, this is part of the chain rule here. Uh, we need to substitute the inner function in there. And then we are going to subtract one from the one third, that's the general power rule. So one over uh, one third, right? One third minus one, which is negative two over three. Yes, so this number comes from taking the one third minus the one, then that's how we can get the negative two over three. But then that's not finished yet. We still need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. So we need to multiply by two x. Okay, so we have the two x right here, and that's all for the numerator. And then now you may say, what about the bottom? The bottom, it's actually quite simple. We do not need to take any derivatives. We are just going to square the bottom function. It's actually easier to work with in this form. So I'm just going to square this, which would give me x squared plus one to the two over three power because I'm squaring this, right? So based on the rules of exponents, I can actually multiply this one over three and then the square together to give me the two over three. Okay, so now the derivative is done, but sometimes we do want to simplify this function and turn it into a nicer form. And as you can see here, there was a, there was a negative, there was a negative exponent involved in here. So that's not a nice form to work with. Let's say if we are to find critical numbers, this is not nice to work with, right? So we want to simplify it. Okay, so how do we simplify? We first turn this into this form, okay? So turn it into the form of, um, with an exponent, with a fraction exponent. And then we are getting, okay, so what are we getting here? We are getting x squared plus one to the one over three minus now we can start cleaning up the expressions at the same time so we are going to be getting two times the one over three which is two thirds okay so two over three and then um there was the x here there was another x here multiply them together we get x squared okay what about this thing this thing we're just copying right so we have this x squared plus one raised to the negative two over three. And then now what about the bottom? The bottom, don't worry about it, right? Just copy for now.
Okay, but we still have a negative exponent right here. Okay, uh, now the question is, what can we do? We can do something like this. We can actually multiply the top and the bottom of this big fraction by this x squared plus one quantity raised to the negative two over three. Um, but instead of multiplying by the same power, we are going to multiply by the positive exponent of this two over three, which can cancel this factor. Yeah, so what are we doing here? Let me write it down. We are going to multiply, okay, the top and the bottom by x squared plus one to the positive two over three. And then we do the same thing at the bottom, right? So that we are not changing the problem. We are basically multiplying by one. Okay, so what does it look like? Um, it's going to look like this. Remember that you got to actually distribute because there are two turns right here. So you got to distribute this factor to this turn and then also that turn. Okay, so that's actually important to remember that we got to distribute this to that one and then also distribute it to this one. Okay, because there are two turns. So it's going to look like this. It's going to look like x squared plus one. Okay, then that one over three. And then we need to multiply this expression, right? So we are going to put it right next to it. So we are getting x squared plus one to the two over three. Okay, so that's it for the first turn. And then now the second turn, the second turn is all this stuff. Let me just put it there first. So it's going to be two over three x squared. And then we have the x squared plus one to the negative two over three, and then now times this expression right here. So we have x squared plus one to the two over three. Okay, so that two is a little bit hard to see. So two over three, that's better. Now, what do we get? Oops, so it should be. And also don't forget about the bottom, right? So we get x squared plus one to the two over three, and then that's another uh, copy that we are getting, right? Another exact copy of the x squared plus one quantity to the two over three. Okay, so let's start doing the simplifying right here. One thing that's really important to simplify, it's really just this factor right here, and that factor, they cancel each other out. Because when you combine them together, you are basically adding their exponents together, which will give you an exponent of zero. And so this non-zero quantity raised to the zero power, it will become a one, right? So that and that will get canceled, right? So for the second turn in the numerator, you are really just getting this two over three x squared, okay? So now, um, let's continue with the next step. What are we getting here? We are really just getting one over three times two over three. That's, that's just one, right? That's just one. So we're really just getting X squared plus one. Okay. Because it's being raised to the first power. We do not really need to write it explicitly. And then we are going to be subtracting the two over three X squared. And then that's it for the numerator, which is nice, right? Because you can see that we are having a really simple expression in the numerator. Uh, what about the denominator? We are adding their exponents together, right? Based on the rules of exponents, we are getting x squared plus one to the four over three. And then, um, yeah, so one more step, one more step we can combine like turns and then we can get the final answer. So that would be simple. Um, last step would be what? Last step would be, let me see. So last step would be uh, combining them. So we are getting one over three X squared plus one. Okay. And then, and then at the bottom, we are getting this X squared plus one to the four over three. And then we are finished. And of course we can factor out uh, one over three here and then put the three at the bottom, right? And then, and then this will become a three. And so if you want a different looking answer, then you actually can have uh, x squared plus three, right? We factor out the one over three from there. And what are we getting in the denominator? We are getting a three in front of that. So we get x squared plus one raised to the four over three power, and then that's it. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video, please, 
subscribe my channel and then also please check out my other math videos and then also please share my videos to other people who like math and leave me a comment give me a like and then if you have a topic that you want me to talk about please leave in the comment and then i will do those topics thank you for watching i will